Hello, uh, what's up, my fellow misogynists? The fuck you say to me, you little shit! You're It's uh, been a while since I last made an episode on me tearing uh, people new assholes. Last time we got my senpai shock and I got him good. I, I basically got him to make a 30 minute video of him apologizing. Which never happened. Well, anyway, at the end of that video, I guess said that I was uh, gonna go for uh, Nox. Well, I waited some time to make this uh, video because when I was watching his content, it, uh, the only thing that was on my mind whenever he made a mistake was, haha, this fool is only digging his own grave even uh, deeper. So I waited and waited until his uh, grave was a nice six feet uh, deep and maybe hire some Ghanaian uh, pole bearers because I mean if I'm gonna bury him I'm gonna do it in style. Now Nux, uh, thank you for uh, digging uh, this uh, grave for me. I got the pole bearers on standby and we're gonna dance away. The first point I'm making is that he claims to be a man of culture, yet he also claims that he hasn't watched any Like, what? That is the biggest oxymoron that I've ever heard. Melody. Hi, Melody. Well, she has already stated this point in their first collab, but I thought since I am a man and uh, Shock's wife's boyfriend Wait, it's unconfirmed by the way People might uh, listen to me Yeah, hit uh, that like button If you're a misogynist as well Oh silly Nox, so forgetful Hey, remember in that one video Where he called Diaz Zuckerberg And he said that he was uh, gonna use that term for Diaz going forward Only to never uh, you said again? Yeah, I didn't forget Nox. Seconds before I was born, I was asked by God, what would I want? A, a big penis or a good memory? Oh, and I haven't forgotten Nox. I remember everything. I have the memory of an elephant. In one of his more recent episodes of the Miminator, before uh, seeing a post of uh, Bionicle Dio, he said that he thought that uh, Bionicle were crap. He thought that. A truly blasphemous uh, thing to say. Do you guys uh, seriously love Nox after this? Well, I hope a Melody breaks up with him over this. Like I know that if my girlfriend uh, told me that uh, Bionicle were crap, Boom! Relationship over. How dare you, Nox? How dare you say that about Bionicle? I bet that uh, he never got lucky with, with a real girl because uh, he would instantly know that uh, Bionicle gets you all the pussy in the world. Seriously, guys, is this your hero right there? One admirable quality about Nox Taku is uh, he's a man who strives for true gender equality, which is what all men must strive for, citing the words of uh, Kasuma, aka the lord of the anti-sims, a true man of quality who wants true gender equality in the world. But uh, you will find out that Nox contradicts himself in this uh, point when uh, he has agreed from Furumetaru Alchemist of Brotherhood as his uh, favorite character in that show. And why is that? Greed's uh, downfall uh, comes uh, from the same place in which many people admire him that he lives uh, by his own set of uh, rules, has uh, rules of thumb, and one of those rules is he doesn't attack women, he doesn't hit women. And while this doesn't make greed a simp, we can see his bias. Now you might say, oh Joseph, but 
the greedy is such a gentleman because another rule of his is that he doesn't tell a lie. So what? Nox, he claims that he will uh, drop kick any woman any second, but then he has a uh, greed as his role model, a gentleman who will do no such thing to a woman. Plus, chivalry is dead and we all had a hand in killing it. Greed has uh, many facets to his uh, character which make him lovable and I'm sure that Nox fell in love with uh, one of uh, those things or with uh, multiple and that's what makes him uh, his uh, favorite character but I guess a rule of thumb of his, this is the downside to him. All my respect goes to Greed and everything, I just think that somebody needed to point that out. If you are at all familiar with Demon Slayer, you know that anime with the demonic Michael Jackson, then of course you will be familiar with the three characters of Tanjiro, Inosuke and Senitsu. And if you are familiar with Nagstaku, which I guess to fully enjoy this video you should be familiar, he did a top 100 anime characters for his 1 million subscriber milestone. In the beginning of his video he started to mention his honorable mentions, people who were close to making it into the list but didn't quite make it and I was surprised to see Inosuke and I was like yeah he deserves to be in there, he's a true chat. But then I was surprised by his number 100 pick which is Senitsu. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. What? He picked. He picked a simp over a chat. People that just noticed this are like Nani, Masaka, and yes, I was uh, surprised too, especially when it comes from uh, the Lord of All Flexors, Lord Naxonor. For those of you who have watched the Demon Slayer, and for those who didn't then I fully recommend the series. We all know how much of a child Inosuke is, I mean as a child he got left in the wild and got picked up by a boar family and was raised by boars. Totally a child thing to do. And as a true animal he is willing to fuck anyone up, it doesn't matter their age, their gender, no he will just fuck you up just like the wild boar that he is inside. Plus uh, he is uh, really well uh, built and has a six pack. Now we get to uh, Senitsu one by looking at uh, him through all the anime we can see that he is a total bitch. But not as much as Deku though. He is only useful when uh, he's asleep which is uh, better than my brother who is useless when he's both asleep and awake and uh, who is uh, willing to marry any pretty woman that he sees totally simpish. In fact uh, the first time that we saw the character he was uh, simping over a woman asking her to marry him after him knowing her for like a day and uh, just to add more fuel to this beautiful fire pit, he simps over Nezuko, a demon woman who wants nothing to do with him whatsoever, and yet he chases her uh, around uh, as if they were playing catch or something. I can't uh, believe that Nox chose uh, the simp over the chat, I'm honestly blown away here. I think that uh, this is uh, the point that really blew me away compared to to the other points that I'm gonna mention, this, this is the one that hits me home the most. This point is uh, far tamer than uh, the last one, All, although I still think it's uh, worth uh, mentioning, but uh, Nox thinks uh, Digimon is the best isekai anime of all time, he doesn't uh, think so, nay. He claims so. I would have let uh, this one slide if uh, Nox said my favorite isekai of all time is uh, Digimon or I think the best isekai is uh, Digimon. 
because after all, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But he had to say it as if he was uh, making a statement, a declaration of a war perhaps. Oh, the sheer stupidity that has uh, come back to bite him in the ass. That uh, being said, I do understand where he comes from with this, because uh, we live in a world where a ton of I isekai are the same generic shit, so to have a series that uh, changes uh, the formula is a breath of fresh air. What I'm trying to say is that everyone is entitled to their own opinion, which is uh, why the YouTube comment section exists. But unfortunately, it was a move. But to make a claim so bold, you are inevitably, you are inevitably going to face some backlash. Nox is so naive that he thinks that doing YouTube and being a YouTuber is a real job. And I honestly can't blame him for it. I mean, we do live in an age where anything can be a job. Back in the day, you had to work your ass off, sometimes 18 hours a day, at a highly dangerous place, just to make ends meet. Today, a woman can become rich just by selling her bath water. Doing YouTube as a job, it's just not that possible. The risks of you not getting paid or getting paid very little are too damn high. But yes, especially now, seemingly that every video on YouTube is getting demonetized and the whole virus has created a whole nother apocalypse. I guess you can rely on sponsors, but how long does that last? Why do you think my girlfriend's husband got a degree? By the way, Shock, uh, congratulations on getting your degree. The next time that I bang your wife, you can hold the camera. It's to get a real job where he'll make real money. Even I have a job. Uh, and what I do for a living? Well, I'll leave it up to your imagination. What I'm trying to get at is uh, you can't rely on uh, YouTube to get you everywhere you want to go. You can't rely on uh, just uh, YouTube in order to sustain you. Of course, uh, Nox Taku has uh, made it uh, big on uh, YouTube and it wouldn't have been possible without uh, the hate of a particular character. I'm talking about Sakura Haruno from Boruto's dad. And why does Nox Taku hate her so much? I mean, she's the most developed character ever in Boruto's dad. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> No. <laughs> ah, these, these bitches. <laughs> no. <laughs> Power Ranger, no. <laughs> I'm sorry about this. I will not bring this topic back. It is already asserted that we all hate Sakura. There are no Sakura fans, and Sakura is as flat as an ironing board. If anything is loved by the YouTube algorithm, it's long videos. So, is there anything better than a 50 plus minute video? Yes, a 50 plus minute video talking about why Deku sucks, which I totally agree with. He sucks as a protagonist, he sucks as a character, but not as much as Sakura though. Well, our subject in question 
has uh, made such infamous uh, video and he did so well uh, you can uh, tell by the number of hate comments he has well apparently uh, the number of hate comments were so many that he made a video taking it all back there are people here who tell me that i need uh, the context of this whole thing like context uh, who needs context uh, nowadays to accuse anyone of anything? But if uh, you want to know the 10 minute video he made uh, with him taking it all back was just uh, used as uh, clickbait in order to allure all the Noxtaku haters into clicking on this video expecting an apology of some sort. Psych! You thought! But uh, damn, using uh, clickbait in order to gain more viewers, eh? Well, it uh, perfectly leads to my next point. Damn, Nox, uh, tricking your uh, viewers with uh, clickbait in order for them just to shamelessly uh, click on your videos. Like, could you sing solo? Why no, he's not the first YouTuber to do this, but why does he do it? Look. I already know that uh, most of my subscribers will not watch any of my stuff regardless of the title and or the content of the, the video. You see, I trust my audience not to watch. There are like 10 to 15 people who do watch my videos all the way through and uh, maybe 20. But goddamn do I love uh, the people who do watch all my videos that I would never think of sinking so low as to trick them with clickbait. Why don't I do well on this platform? Well it may be because I don't like playing dirty. And I know that uh, playing dirty is a Jojo reference as seen with uh, Joseph but uh, so is uh, not playing dirty. As seen with best boy Jonathan Joestar, I have always seen uh, clickbaiting people as a cheap way to gain views. But everyone is doing it uh, these days that I tend to wonder if I'm uh, the one who is not doing things the proper way anymore. I hate playing the holier than thou card. Though this is a Nux we are talking about. He is way too powerful for me that I have to use every resource I have available. Something shocking about Nox. Everybody already knows. He hires his editor. He doesn't edit any of his videos. Like, what I thought that you were supposed to do all that stuff all by yourself. You know, which is why I haven't had much success. Because I hardly know how how to edit videos and that's why my videos including this one has such low quality to it but that is also why my videos feel uh, genuine at least uh, to me uh, they do which uh, I gotta admit it is the best uh, feeling in the world and I would not trade it for any editors but I guess down the line I should hire an editor. Well, not hiring since uh, the economy in Argentina is so bad and the, the dollars there are so expensive I wouldn't be able to afford an editor and I don't want to waste anybody's time. This point I wanted to leave for last since it's highly unconfirmed. But Noxtaku is such a big stinky poop he probably never washes his hands after going to the toilet. I've consumed so much Noxtaku and uh, so much uh, Gintama that uh, sometimes it is uh, very hard to tell the difference between our daddy Nox and uh, the protagonist Sakata Gintoki. If you watch Gintama then you know that uh, Gintoki has the filthy habit of not washing his hands after going to the bathroom even if he made a number two. I also feel like uh, Nox Taku made uh, so many uh, videos about toxic uh, people and toxic fandoms that uh, some were in there. Uh, he lost his sanity and uh, now he can't tell uh, reality from uh, fiction. So he picked up uh, this uh, filthy habit from Gintoki. And uh, now he doesn't uh, wash his hands after going to the bathroom 
What? No way! When in such a time where washing your hands all the time is uh, really vital to you not uh, dying, incredible! Everybody knows that you have to wash your hands at least uh, 69 times a day. But uh, then again, it's all speculation and they might as well not uh, be true. And uh, Nuxtaku is uh, really uh, taking care of himself, which is why he's uh, not dead. <laughs> what? Bonus point? Yeah, that's uh, right, and I'm gonna take my time in saying this, but Nox hasn't uh, made uh, the No One Understands uh, Sorrow video yet. What are you doing, Nox? Stop uh, fooling around with your so-called girlfriend melody and get to it. I've just spoken with the mangaka Oda Sensei and uh, he tells me that he won't have uh, Soro do anything cool unless you upload uh, the video. So please get to it. Are you I got uh, nothing else uh, to say about uh, Nux. So thank you for watching, I love you all, and the link is in the description for the document which I used to outline this whole thing, and if you couldn't tell by all the leaps in logic that I made, this video was purely satire, although I may have hit on some notes of truth there, oh well, but who cares, so with all that, I love you Nox. And, and I'm looking forward to making more of these ironic kind of takedowns in where I make fun of others as much as I have the chance to make fun of myself, seriously. I guess uh, video making has been such a delightful experience. Thanks again for watching and remember to wash your hands at least 69 times a day. I'll see you in the next video. And remember to stay weird, fam.